Okay guys, um, welcome to this tutorial. We want to design a countdown timer and we're using Visual Studio 2015. So let's just start right away. So I clicked on new project. Um, we're going to do a new project on that. Okay, so I'm using um, Windows Form application. So I just call it, just a simple name, countdown um, perhaps timer, anything. Yes, um, then we're gone. It's creating the project. Um, then once the project okay, it's done creating, once the project is um done, and the first thing is just um a little design which we're we'll gonna do. So I need some items here. So I need a button. Um, perhaps two buttons. I need um labels. I need text boxes. So let's just start the design now. So I just wanna we're just designing. So you can do your own designing or okay this is what I want to use and let's just say size it's in okay. So I'm gonna set this to this and as a text align line at the center. So, I was just designing. I need um the time picker. Mm -hmm. So let's also change this one something small or tall perhaps tall. Okay. So I need this um and reset the text property of these are okay sorry, not of that text property of this one. So I just change the text. We're still in um designing. Okay. Um, this one should be my step, and then this should be my start. This should be my um, days left. This should be my um, hours left. Um, this should be the minutes left. This sh should be the seconds left. Okay. So let's change the name of these text boxes. Let's controls. Let's use a name we can easily reference. So I call this txt seconds. Okay. Then I call this txt txt minutes. Then I call this txt hours. Or okay, we call these um txt days. And then let's just call this um txt date time or anything. Just um. Okay, uh, those are the names, let's also 
perhaps I can change the title of these from 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 one to count uh, down timer. Then let's um, also design this. We want to make our form or make it a fixed tool window. Like I said, everything we're doing here is just um, design. So nothing much. We've not done anything. Okay, we need um, a timer. Perhaps you can design it. You can just reference it. So I need a timer. So you see, my timer is here. Because it will not be displayed. It's something that will be hidden. I'll be working it in for me. So I need to change the interval to 1000 milliseconds. Now the interval is always in milliseconds. 1000 milliseconds is equal to one second. So the timer will be kicking every one second. So that's um all. So let's just start the rough coding. So I need um I don't want my timer to start immediately. I start these um so I'm setting the timer one that enable to false. I don't want it to start okay and then if it was already running so we just stop the timer and then now um, I think the same code here we'll need the same code to end the timer so I copy and paste okay and then um, let's start this once so that is where the problem will actually come okay before we do that we need to define some variables so let's um, say current our current time and then we also declare a variable called um, target time so that's all we want now now we want our once this button is clicked we want to send the value of these oh, okay now let's do something here now these are our the time picker is displaying just the day the month and this is not displaying the time so we want to do some custom validation we don't want to use this value we need to display it to show the time so we use this so we need a format we need to change the format from we have different format we have short and to be displaying that we have um, other format but we need to our own custom format so you can actually show just the time but I need to show put the date and the time so I'm going custom and then my custom format will be I need the day perhaps the month I'm sorry we use capital M for month because small m stands for minute but we need a month and then I need the year and then I need the R you know 24 hour system I need the minute and I need the second so see it's now displaying this so I can actually also I can display the day as in using this so Four Ds here. You display the day, as in if it is Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. Also, so the day today is actually Wednesday, the first of March, two thousand seventeen. Um, so you can do your own custom val validation. We can display this month instead of using zero three. We use March and then you know, all the stuff like that. So, but let's just leave it at this for now. So now we have our time and our day. So let's continue. So I say that's my target. Sorry. My target time is just the value of my txt the time just that value okay and then uh, once I'm done with that I have to change this to true and then um, I start my timer so we start okay just very few code I don't want to do much so I need to code my timer so there's that so what do I do? I say my current. Oh, sorry. My current time. It just be now. So now you return both the day, the date, and the time. Um, when immediately the control now, the distance control is sent to this man. So the current date and the time according to your system time, like now, it's eleven o seven. So my noun will return this value here when is the March 1st 2017 11.07 so that's all I want so now I define another variable which I call uh, remaining time so I call it rem time my remaining time should give me the target time just be the difference between the target time 
and the current time so just that then I'm done with my coding so I start passing the values it will text the day that text it will now be your rem time um, rem time that I need the days here okay and then um, I need my text the hours to be a text the text property I need it to be my rem time dot hours um, I need a um, txt minutes and a text property thereof to be my rem time that minute um, I need my txt seconds a text property there ok to be equal to my remaining time that seconds ok or um, that should be enough so that's just that very simple code let's see if it's running okay so it's building it's actually running let's see so here yeah this is this so I need to set let's see what will happen in the next um, just set this to 50 so 1150 that's the target time and then I start my timer you see see what's happening it has already calculated this so 11.50 from the current time should be 45 41 minutes and then you see it's running now so that's just that very simple code and it's running very well so you don't need to do much just type something so I can just stop this anytime and it's not running again and then I start it again and it's running so thank you very much for watching um, you can do some, um, like I told you, you can do some complex designing and design these, but the code is essentially very simple. The code is something very simple. They can also add, um, um, you can add music at the end such that um, when the time, this time is zero. Uh, when the time is zero, uh, it will display that music to tell the user that, okay, your time is up. Oh, so you can do something like that. Um, but that won't be covered in this tutorial. I'll do another tutorial to do that to fix that for us. So <coughs> we just designing the countdown timer. And that was very simple. But there's something we need to check. Let's check when this time gets to less than ten. You know, it's this is displaying just one value. So you can add an if statement such that when it is less than ten, it will add a zero to it and it will continue running. So something very simple. You can just say if um if my txt seconds that text are is less than 10 and then what you do you see that my txt text um, seconds that text and text will be uh, I add 0 to you I add 0 to you and then I'll um, txt seconds that is, um, should be able to fix whatever I have to do oh sorry that text okay so I just copy these um, and I paste the number of times the number of times I want or uh, mm, 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 mm. so I change these to minutes 60 minutes and this will be my um, 60 hours or hours this will be my um, 60 days. Um, there's something here. 60 days. 60 days. Um, this will be my 60 hours. Um, 60 hours. This will be my 60 minutes. Sixty minutes. Okay. Now that should do the magic we want. So let's just use um. Oh, sorry for that. Or so let's run this and see what happens. 
You see the code is very simple and very straightforward. Okay, I need to get this in the next, let's say, one minute. So we'll change this to 13 and then we we'll start our timer. So, uh, 50, 49, or see, now we have zeros, zeros, and zeros. Something like that. Makes it more beautiful. So 43, 42, 41. Let's see when it gets to less than 10. Let's see, magic that will perform for us. So you see, with very minimal code, we can do a lot of things. So we don't need to write as much complex code, no, just something small. Then our results will be readily out. So you see, very simple. So we are, um, okay, we're going 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Oh, hard, there is zero here. So that's just what we wanted. So that's simple. Like I'll show you the code once again. So that's the code. You just do as you wish. It's something small, just two variables which we declared, and then I'm um, ending the timer, and then it is to end the timer. And this is when the button is clicked. We just pass the value here to the target. Then, then we start our timer, and then this is where the thing goes on. Just very simple. These two current time also down, and then the remaining time the difference here. And we get the days property because um this will actually return a date time to so be a date time so we're getting the day property of these the hours property of these the minutes and then all this and then we're displaying it so this is just where we're displaying the stuff and then we adjust this block of code this one's just to add extra zero if this thing is less than 10 the device less than 10 to make it more beautiful so with these very few codes your countdown timer is ready thank you very much for watching do not forget to like our video and then um, I'll prepare another one that will contain um, the music that will give us a music to show that our countdown time at the time is um, up. So thank you very much for watching.